We begin with continuing coverage concerning Ukrainian refugees in Poland. And most of the refugees fleeing the country had to leave at a moment's notice from Ukraine, leaving a lot of personal items back in their home country. But for many, the thought of leaving behind their pets just unbearable. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp is covering the refugee crisis in Poland for us. She joins us to show us how local animal shelters are helping refugee families. At one Warsaw animal shelter, they are going above and beyond their regular adoption and veterinarian services. They've become a safe haven for pets of Ukrainian refugee families. So since the beginning of the invasion, they have already helped over 160 animals here. They pretty much provide a lot of support for the animals of refugees. The director describes their shelter as a hotel for pets providing a place for refugees' pets to stay until they can be reunited with their families once they find a home in Poland. The refugees can even drop off their pets here daily while they figure out how to settle down in Poland. Right now, this shelter is currently housing nine dogs and seven Ukrainian cats, even taking in strays from Ukraine. Now, some of the dogs here at this animal shelter are part of an evacuation program that, that evacuated some animals out of Ukraine, which included uh, these two dogs right here, which we're told they don't have any owners, but that they are up for adoption and they're trying to adopt them together. But the help for refugee families doesn't stop there. So we're getting animals vaccinated and also chipped, so they're legalized here in Poland. The chip will find the animal if for some way it gets lost. Also, we provide a medical assessment for the animals if they got hurt during transportation, and we'll see if they need a veterinarian. And we provide any help with drugs the animals might need. Helping families like the Rosenthal's. We, we got the store quickly. They fled their home in Ukraine almost two weeks ago. They didn't have time to grab documents for their cat, Mutka, and to make sure the cat can legally stay in Poland, they brought her to the shelter to get her vaccinations. She has beautiful eyes. <laughs> Even though they had to leave Ukraine quickly, they couldn't leave their family member behind. To their kid, uh, the boy said that he is not going to leave the country without the cat. So he's, he told him he, she is my soul, so we need to make sure that she comes with us. In Warsaw, Rachel Knapp reporting for Erie News Now. Rachel, thank you. The Animal Shelter says other NGOs are pitching in, helping shelters with vaccinating pets and strays that are being evacuated from Ukraine. Yeah, it's just one of so many stories that uh, we are covering in this crisis. Of course, our Rachel Knapp, she'll continue to bring us coverage from Poland, both on air and online throughout the rest of the week here on Air. From e